welcome back to Aragon Weekly. Uh, today, today's an interesting day, at least for me. I've been looking forward to this day. It's been very planned for a while. Well, kinda. Uh, you can probably tell from the thumbnail, we're gonna be shooting uh, coconuts. I bought two. They're a uh, uh, decent size, I guess. You can hear that milk. If, uh, if I'm lucky enough, maybe I'll try one later. But uh, who knows? I got two, like I said. Yeah. But um, we're going to be shooting four different guns a day, all pellets. Uh, I don't think a BB is going to do much. But uh, first up is the Vigilant. We're going to be shooting all pointed today. And then we'll go to the 880 Daisy. The Black Ops sniper rifle and the good old Hatson 25. Uh, the first three, all 17s. That one's obviously a 25 caliber. But uh, I'll get you guys set up and we'll get started. One more thing before we get started: uh, these coconuts are to simulate the human skull. The closest thing I could probably find. I do not have a. Skin, I would say on it, but I mean there's not a whole lot there. I thought about a few layers of duct tape, but I didn't want to goof it up too much if it didn't really work because I didn't want to have to buy more coconuts. So yeah, that's uh, simulate the human skull and see what happens. I'm gonna set you guys up by the coconuts and uh, other good news. I am working on getting a GoPro. It should be be here by the next video I should be shooting with it by the next video so very excited for that don't know what we're doing we might do some like get some water balloons things that I want to be able to catch in slow motion because that's why I got it was to be able to make better slow motions than what my phone can this one does all the way up to 4k resolution and I think 240 frames a second or something not too sure but that's good that's good for slow-mo but I'm gonna set you guys up next to the coconut and we're gonna start with the vigilant pointed tip pellets all right well like in the last video my co2 cartridges is CO2 cartridges are messing up. I don't know if it's the heat. It's hot. It's extremely humid. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. I'll have to look it up. It's kind of bothersome. But we'll just jump to the 880. And since we're only shooting two 17s, I'm going to do um, ballistic tips. And we'll see what that does. And uh, I'm going to leave you guys here. And we'll get the 880 with a ballistic tip. Alrighty, got her all pumped up, ready to go. Uh, it does 700 feet per second, 750, by the way. I just wanna, I feel if I say it in another video, I, I always think I don't have to say it, but I'm gonna try to keep saying it. Just in case someone new comes along, you know, be good to know these things. But yeah, about 700 feet per second with this. Very good gun. It's like my personal choice for... I keep it on my porch where I can keep it if I have any rodents or like uh, anything come on my porch that I do not want on my porch. So I have a few raccoons that come up here and I have a few less raccoons that come up here. If you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, if you're looking for something to handle some pests, I mean you got to shoot them real good, but she'll do the job. But anyways, I'm going to get you guys set up next to this coconut, see what happens. Well, this video might be rather boring. You see that nice little gray spot? Like, that is it. That is all. Nothing whatsoever. And if that didn't do anything, I don't think my Black Ops is going to do anything. But, I'll try. I'll use my heavier let's see what happens all right I decided to go with 
uh, the pointed tips. They're a different type of metal than the ballistics. The ballistics are extremely light. They're larger, but they're super light compared to the others. And there's no description on what type of pellet they are, but I'm thinking maybe because uh, the Black Ops, it uh, shoots about two to three hundred more feet per second. And the pellet being slightly heavier and still having a point uh, might get us somewhere with this coconut. I'm going to say some damage, but probably not through one side. Place your bets. Alrighty, there's our hit. We skimmed the top of it. As always with the Black Ops. I need to sight her in to zero, but... Oh, the only time I shoot these things is when I'm out here. But yep, there's our shot. It did a little bit, but I don't think it's going to go in at all. But just for the video's sake, I'll take another shot. And I'll try to get her centered. Just to say, I mean it's not the biggest 17, don't get me wrong. But it's a pretty large 17. It's a brake barrel and everything. So, um, we'll give her another shot, try to hit for center. And uh, see what happens. Alrighty, uh, I have a destroyer loaded up this time because everything else is kind of ricocheting, and I don't want to cause any damage. So I'm going to use a destroyer, which is a hollow point with a point in the middle, which also gets you penetration. But hopefully it'll stop for the most part, and uh, try to shoot for center. Hopefully it does something, you know, make an interesting video. Alrighty, we got somewhere. We got a little leakage in our deer coconut. <laughs> oh, there's ants everywhere with these coconuts. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty impressive. It gives me a little higher hopes for our 25. I think I'm just going to... Roll her around and shoot her dead center. Now my Hatson 25 has me a little worried upon the fact that it is larger and if it does ricochet that is a larger object to ricochet. But if I hit her dead center it should go into this coconut. It just depends on how good of a shot I am I guess. But I'll get that loaded up and uh, I'll set you guys down here by the coconut. Alright, before I show you the coconut, this is part of the pellet. It's all flattened out. And there's the other part stuck into some drywall down here. But uh What do you what do you what do you guys think happened first? Before I show you this coconut, do you think it just totally put a hole in it? Or it didn't put a hole in it. Now if if you really think about it, you'll know the answer already. But I'd still like to think what you have to say. But uh, right here, a little gray dot. That is it. That is all. I'm extremely disappointed with that. But hey, that's why you make the videos, because you don't know. And I don't have the most powerful of anything. Like, um, that hat's an air tag. I'm not sure how fast a 25 caliber can move. And it's a hollow point if that, you know. So there's not much you're going to do. It's stopping power, not penetration. And with the 17s, I guess, if you're moving along about 900 to 1,000 feet per second with a pointed tip, it's going to crack your skull. It's going to put a hole in it. So uh, I'd watch out. Don't get shot in the head with one of those. But uh, anything under that, you're fine. Even a ballistic tip. Which, um, I don't know how close a coconut is to a human skull, but coconut's pretty hard. But, uh, and uh, if you're going to get shot in the head with 20, 25 cal, it's uh, going 700 feet per second with a hollow point. It just can give you a really bad headache. 
but uh like i said i'm gonna have a gopro next video hopefully and uh get some slow-mo in but i'd like to thank you guys for joining and i'll see you next time